Hello. Welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to run the Torkel Calc on the Torkel Weaver software. The Torkel Calc program is designed to help you do two things. A. If you're planning to run the discharge test at a particular current and you want to find out what configuration would be needed to run the test. Or B. If you have a configuration in mind and you want to find out the current capability of that configuration. The program has two sections, standard section and advanced section. Let's look at the standard section first and let's see how we can do the two things that we mentioned earlier. To determine the configuration needed to run a particular test, I would need to enter the test parameters, namely the test current, the start voltage, and the end voltage. So let's say I'm planning to run a constant current test at 200 amps on a 120 volt battery string and let's say the end voltage uh, is supposed to be 108 volts for that test. When I click on calculate configuration the program tells me that uh, this test can be run using a Torkel 930 and a TXL 870 and the switch on the TXL 870 would need to be on position 3. The other way in which I can use the program is I take out the current here. Now let's say I have a Torkel 930 and I have a TXL 870. With the switch on position 3, I can determine what the current capability of this configuration would be by clicking on Calculate Current. When I do that, I get the minimum and the maximum current that's possible with this configuration. I do see a minimum value here and that's because I have a TXL in the configuration. The TXL units will always draw uh, some current which would depend on the resistance which in turn uh, depends on the uh, position of the switch that's selected here. To show how the change in position affects the current capability of the configuration I can just change the configuration by a little bit here. So what I'm doing is I still have a TXL 870 uh, in the configuration, but the switch on the TXL 870 is on position 1 instead of position 3. When I click on Calculate Current, you will see that the minimum and the maximum current of the configuration changes uh, accordingly. Now let's move on to the Advanced section. The Advanced section asks you for a little bit more information and it also provides more information. So in the advanced section, if I want to find out what configuration I would need to run a particular test, I'll start off by doing the same thing here. I will need to enter the test current. The voltages have already carried over from the standard section. In the current section, it asks me for a minimum and maximum value. Since I'm doing a constant current test, I'm going to keep uh, both at 200 uh, amps. You can see here that it also asks you for the uh, number of units that you already own. So the advantage of having this section is that when you enter uh, the information here, so let's say I own two Torkel 930 units, when I click on find optimal configuration, the software will run calculations uh, for two Torkel 930 units, find out whether uh, that configuration would work for me. If yes, then it would show me the calculations on that. If not, it would show me the configuration that would work best for me. So in this case, I can see that uh, I would be able to run the test with two Torkel 930 units. Uh, the information is shown in two ways, uh, numerically as well as in a graphical format. Uh, the blue section that you see in the graph here is the load area which which covers the current capability of the configuration. So you can see that the current capability drops with an increase in the voltage. Higher the voltage rating of the battery string that I'm testing on, uh, lower is the current capability of, of any configuration that I select. I can see a little yellow line here and that yellow line corresponds to the test that I uh, selected initially over here. So I mentioned a constant current of 200 amps and I mentioned that the voltage 
would start from 120 volts and would drop uh, down to 108 volts during the course of this test. And that's what this line corresponds to. Since the test area lies within the load area, uh, I know that the test configuration that's shown here would be able to uh, run the test. Now, if you remember when we were in the standard section, the torque will calc uh, told us that it's possible to run this test with one Torkoil 930 and one TXL 870. So let's select that and see how the calculations change. When you click on find optimal configuration, the software runs the calculations uh, with one Torkoil 930 and one TXL 870 and it tells you that it is possible to uh, run the test but the switch would need to be on position three for you to be able to run the test. So you can see again that the load area has changed on the graph, but it still covers the test area. Uh, so it's, it's possible to run the test with this configuration as well. Now, in the standard section, we did see that when I changed the position uh, on the TXL 870 from three to one, uh, the, the current capability, the current capabilities changed, right? So that's what I'm gonna do here. I have changed the switch position on the TXL 870, and then I click on calculate possible tests. When I do that, the uh, the software shows me the, the current capability of the configuration that is selected here. Uh, it's recalculated here, and this time you can see that the test area, which is in fact over here, lies outside the load area. So it's not possible uh, to run the test uh, that, that I've specified here with one Torkoil 930 unit and one TXL 870 if the switch on the TXL 870 is on position one. So as you can see, this is a, a very good feature uh, on the software um, and always comes in handy when you have to uh, run some calculations to, de to determine whether uh, the configuration that you own would work uh, for a particular test uh, or if you just want to find out what uh, what the uh, current capability of your equipment is. This concludes the video on how to run the Torkoil Calc on the Torkoil Weaver software. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.